What are the most interesting whiskeys in the world? Let's find out. What is going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker, bringing you guys a brand new video. Today we are doing a challenge that the man, the myth, the legend, Kurt from SLB sent our way. While he was driving around one day, he was thinking about the Dos Equis man for some reason. And well, what is the Dos Equis man? He is the most interesting man in the world. And that brought forth an idea to Kurt's head and he did a video on for what he thought were the most interesting whiskeys in the world. Now in his video, he had a plethora of bottles on there. He had world whiskeys, rise and bourbons and so on and so forth. But here at the Everyday Drinker Bar, we don't have a lot of worldwide whiskeys, but we do have a lot of bourbon and rye. So that is what I'm going to give you guys here. I'm going to give you guys three ryes and I'm going to give you guys three bourbons that I think fit those criteria as the most interesting whiskeys on the planet right now. Now, before we get into my videos, I want to know what your most interesting whiskeys are down in the comments below. Now, before we get into my video, I'm also going to challenge a couple of other channels. I am going to challenge Doc over at Old Fashioned Ways, Carlos at the Whiskey Corner. I am going to challenge Patrick over at the Whiskey Cove. I know a couple other channels were already challenged, so that's why I'm not challenging them. But without further ado, make sure you guys drop that like, smash that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20 thousand subscribers but let's get in a bottle number one bottle number one is going to go to our first bourbon and yes this is our oldest bottle on the shelf to date this is a 1985 wild turkey austin nichols eight year 101 bourbon and this bottle is on this list for one reason and one reason only just for the sheer fact that it has been opened since most likely 1985 and I have done my own damage to it and it is absolutely delicious. I have loved every single sip out of this bottle. To think back at what bourbon and whiskey could and used to be back in the old days, right? Now we're looking back at what is 1985. That is almost what? 40 years ago, that is absolutely mind-blowing to me, right? I'm not even 30 yet, and I'm drinking something that is almost, you know, double my age. But nonetheless, absolutely fantastic bottle of bourbon that, you know, you can possibly find if you go to, like, auctions and um, yard sales and stuff like that, see what people have got to offer, and maybe one day you can find something that is um, as uh, interesting as this bottle right here. Let's get into bottle number two. Bottle number two is going to go to the Thomas H. Handy Barrel Proof Rye. This is last year's release of 2023, coming in at 124.9 proof. And this is the one rye that really blew me away and made me start to really love rye whiskey. I had a sample of the 2022 release, absolutely mind blowing to me. And, you know, this is a bottle because I got it at MRCRP, even if I got to spend a little bit extra, this is a bottle of rye whiskey that I want to share with a lot of people, give them what what rye whiskey can be and that is what this is you know and it's also because it's a BTAC bottle everybody's like ooh BTAC and uh, for that reason alone is why this bottle right here is on this list let's get in a bottle number three Bottle number three is going to go to another BTAC. I'm sorry. Bottle number three is going to be the George T. Stag. Now, this is what the quintessential high-aged, high-proof Buffalo Trace whiskey can be. You know, we all have our own opinions on Buffalo Trace products, and most of them are good, and we all pretty much enjoy what Buffalo Trace has to offer. But when you put high-aged, high-proof Buffalo Trace into a bottle, it just does something to me, and I absolutely love it. And you cannot go wrong with what this George C. Stag has to offer. You know, for a pour at a bar, I wouldn't spend over 45, 50 bucks, right? If you can find it for that for a two ounce pour, that is a no brainer to me. Obviously, MSRP is a must do. If you find it for under 300, in my opinion, I think it is a must snag bottle for sure. Absolutely mind blowing what this bottle has to offer. But nonetheless, that is it for the highly allocated, highly hard to find bottles. Let's get in a bottle number four. Bottle number four is going to be rye whiskey number two, and that is the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Strength 
rye. Now, my buddy Andrew has had a bottle of the Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. Um, I've had that before, absolutely loved it. I have had samples of many, many Jack Daniel Single Barrel Ryes. Every single one of them I have absolutely enjoyed. The bourbon, you guys know, not the biggest fan of that bottle, but this right here is one of the most interesting bottles to me due to the fact that you can find it for $60. A barrel proof, this one specifically is coming in at 135.7 proof. Let me say that again, 135.7 proof rye whiskey for $60. Mind blowing to me and that right there is just intriguing and so interesting that they can make this and it stands up to this bottle right here. And that right there, in my in, in my opinion, in my humblest opinion, is just why this bottle deserves to be on this list. And I highly, highly recommend if you see these on the shelves, it's a must get. And if you can get to, do it. Let's get into bottle number five. Bottle number five is going to go to Bardstown Bourbon Company, single barrel, barrel strength. Now, this bottle right here was sent to us from Salty Lettuce down in Tennessee. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Salty Lettuce. As you guys can see, we're almost halfway down this bottle and we just got it earlier this year. Absolutely delicious, delicious bottle. Why is this bottle interesting to me? Well, the fact that this bottle right here has put other highly allocated bottles to shame. It is absolutely delicious. It is a six year age stated bourbon coming in at 123.6 proof. Can't go wrong with that, right? Now these are in the higher price range, $85, $90, but for me, it's a, it's a no brainer. It is an absolutely delicious pour. I love what Bardstown is able to do with their own distillate. It is a delicious, delicious distillate and I wish that they started to do it a little bit earlier and you know they're they're doing their high rye hopefully they come out with weeded uh, single barrels here in the future but this right here is an absolute staple and a must-have on my bar and I absolutely love what Bartstown is doing let's get in the sixth and final Bottle. bottle number six is going to go to Pikesville Rye. Now, this bottle right here goes to show what a low rye rye whiskey has to offer. If you're looking for an interesting sip of a rye whiskey that is going to make you think that it's a bourbon, this is the one to go for. This is one of the lowest rye mash bill ryes that you can get your hands on. 51% rye. That is the lowest that it can be to be a rye. And man, oh man, is it wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Absolutely love this. This is one of those ryes that really got me into wanting to experiment with ryes. You know, and asking for samples, seeing if I can get my hands on a couple of other bottles. And you know, this is at least a six year rye coming in at 110 proof. So, you know, it's not super hot, not super low. You're getting a mouthful of flavor. And man, oh man, if you're a bourbon drinker and you're looking for something that is going to be interesting and put you into what the palate of a rye could possibly be going forth, this is definitely the bottle for you. For around $50, $55, this is a Heaven Hill product. You just cannot go wrong with the Pikesville bottle of rye whiskey. So there you guys have it. Those are my six most interesting bottles on my shelves today. Thank you, Kurt, so much for sending this challenge out my way. I uh, wanted to get this out as fast as possible. I already had a couple of videos planned out previously, but the, here we are uh, about a week after that challenge went out. Again, make sure you guys go check out those other channels that I challenged, and I hope that they do this challenge because this was a fun one. But again, make sure you guys drop that like, smash that subscribe button, and leave that comment on what your most interesting whiskey is in your collection. But until next time, this has been Nathan, the Everyday Drinker. Cheers.